guys. Hi, Avengers. Hi, hey, hey, Scarlet. Jumping on the call. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think you mean assembling. <laughs> I wow. said assembly. Don, that's pretty good. No, they thought it was funny. Scarlett, it is our pleasure to come together and to get the vote out this election. Don. Yeah, how can we be of service? Well, how about we start with uh, what our voting plans are going to be, who we're going to bring to the polls with us, that sort of thing. Just to, I, to I think Kamala Harris needs a catchphrase. Ooh, yes, definitely a catchphrase. How about this? I'm just off the top of my head. I can do this all day. Shut up. Oh, I hate it. Okay. I mean, it's original, but... What about something punchier like... Oh, oh, boom. You looking for this? Iron Man 2, everybody loved it. Okay, again, I think we're just trying to get out the vote. Kamala forever. <laughs> That's better. Okay, how about I'm down with democracy? It's just clean, it's simple. Okay, I like that. It's hard to argue with that. Kamala Harris down with democracy. Oh, yeah. I'm Kamala Harris, and I say down with democracy. I don't know if that sounds the way we want it to sound, though. I think, I think we just need... Truth. Can we get some production, though? Jarvis! My name's not Jarvis, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Down with democracy. Down with democracy! Is that what we mean, though? Yeah, together we're gonna tear down democracy. Will you stop playing heroic music under yourselves? I'm Kamala Harris, and I am down with democracy. Did I sound enough like her on that one? That was great. How many Golden Globes have you been nominated for? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> yes! All right, that was awesome. All right, guys. <laughs> What's up? Happy Halloween. You're hanging out with just the guys. And um, uh, we started off with that ad because... Uh, the first thing, you know, we, as you know, we're fans of, uh, for the most part, fans of Trump. Um, and he's been getting a lot of airtime on our station. So FE, FEC, um, FCC regulations, they require equal time. So um, had to play that ad. Uh, but <laughs> that just dropped today. Uh, the Avengers are coming to save us and save this election. Uh, guys, what are you guys thinking? CT, what's up, man? Well, salute to you all. Positivity is definitely coming your way again. But you got like a back. Oh, there you go. Uh, salute to you all. Positivity is coming your way. Uh, that was the most cringe worthy video that I've seen in the past week. I will admit this. It's watchable because let's be honest, deny. I can't pronounce her last name. She is a very beautiful woman. Scarlett Johansson is very, very beautiful. So I did not in mind. this. Hold on, man. Not in this Ooh. video, though, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, deny, especially what's her name? Deny, Danae. She is a gorgeous woman, by the way. Um, it was watchable, it was, it was watchable. Other than this, I don't know what they were really saying. Um, you know, people who get paid to pretend, I don't really take them seriously when they discuss politics because, for all we know, that they are getting paid to act anyway, so maybe they're getting paid to promote Kamala Harris. Uh, I have no idea if this is true or not. But um, I don't really I look at this as a Saturday Night Live skit at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a paid promotion. Gimpy, yeah. jump in here, man. You see this ad? Is it moving the needle? I mean, you're coming out here. Oh, Will that's you the vote? Greatest thing I've ever seen. And dude, they even know like he's making the whole time. He's saying it. That doesn't sound like we want it to sound. I'm down with okay. the box, <laughs> right? Like they know. They sound all they know they can't mean it's like they're embracing their own stupidity man like th this this really is cringe man like i'm just just sitting here like watching it like you know people have the avengers as their heroes and their assembly and assembling to tell you what to do uh, i guess they're trying to save us uh tyrone this is why they say never meet your heroes um <laughs> it's disgusting it's condescending. Um, these people are all multimillionaires, okay? Um, this election is about the economy. For whatever reason, Kamala Harris and her team still don't get that. Uh, so, you know, endorsements don't do anything for me anyway. I don't care what a newspaper or a celebrity has to say. I'm going to make up my mind based on my situation. Uh, so... You know, this is another reason why I, each year I reject pop culture more and more. Okay, I don't pay any attention to sports at all. Haven't since Jordan left the Bulls, actually. Um, so it's been a, a, a long time. I don't watch any televised news. 
And uh, I don't watch any movies that were produced uh, after 2016 for the most part. And this is why I don't want to know what these people think. They're just here as court jesters, entertainment. That's it. Until we start asking the fry cook and the garbage man for their opinion on CNN. I don't give a fuck what Robert Downey Jr. thinks. <laughs> I mean, you want to talk about a felon. I mean, they're, they're castigating Trump with that, right? Robert Downey Jr. is a felon. Why should yeah. I care about what he thinks? Can I point out that the biggest disappointment is, is that all our role models of these heroes all look like girls in that mm. none of them looked hero or masculine or, oh, ha, 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 ha. I'm sorry. That was all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the days of Van Damme and, you know, Schwarzenegger and uh, Snipes, those days. Uh, please don't say Schwarzenegger. He also is a huge disappointment. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, you, I think you do bring up a good point, right? Because there was a time where actors and actresses, like even in real life, kind of embodied some of the roles that they played. Um, and yeah, that that is completely different now. It seemed like there is kind of like this feminization across the board. I don't know if it's like metrosexual or what, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, but th crazy. there does, th it is. but that does seem to be. Uh, that kind of crossover, not crossover, but just moved and shift towards, uh, I think KJ, KJ brings this up, but to like this androgyny, like everyone looks yeah. the same, sounds the same, uh, is programmed the same way. So these actors are now becoming NPCs uh, in their own right. Uh, but what, you know, today's Halloween, uh, you know, so kids are generally celebrating and, and, and uh, not celebrating, but you know, out trick or treating, they're dressed up in their costumes. And, um, you know, now I think this is this is what and, and Avengers, of course, is Marvel and they're owned by Disney. Uh, so we already know there's that influence in kids anyway. But I think, you know, this is one of those things to say, hey, uh, you know, steer away, you know, steer your kids away, because this is another sign of indoctrination, um, especially when you're your heroes, so to speak. Uh, you see them in real life. They're. Uh, I don't know, just just tools of sounding the same. I, I don't, I don't even know what to call that, man. Yeah, they, they're like, um, they're like the movie producers that used to work for the Nazis. You know mm -hmm. how they would just do the bidding, they would produce propaganda. That's all they were there for. That, that's what Hollywood is these days. That's exactly what it is these days. Yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah, just never meet your heroes, and especially not not actors. Um, but one, one more thing on this, man, because you brought up a good point about uh, Ty Tyrone about not watching new movies and shows because uh, there's this idea nowadays where people say, well, you got to use your platform to get the message out. You got to use your platform to do X, Y, Z. And movies and everything have become real preachy now. It's not, you know, they're not fun anymore. They're not um, entertaining uh ct have you felt that with, with movies and anything like that are you like tyrone and don't watch many new movies no i, I uh i uh, have watched the downfall of the movie industry and i've seen a lot of injections of wokeism particularly in, star in science fiction yeah. uh one being the star wars franchise ever since star wars went woke with mary sue characters like uh i think her name was ray um, having a uh, emasculated black man running around screaming, Ray, you know, right. uh, it, it's, um, it's tragic, man. The new Star Trek discovery was absolutely terrible. Um, it, it had Isn't a, that the one with the new stormtrooper. The, uh, yeah, the new, the new Star Wars. Yeah. Stormtroopers are in Star Wars. Not yeah. Star Wars. But I, oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry. No, oh, but yeah, but yeah. Uh, I sound stupid. All right. Yeah, the new Star War, the new Star Trek, the same way. Uh, Star Trek Discovery was a complete disaster. Nothing but wokeism. Uh, nothing but Mar Mary Sue. Uh, women, women are just perfect. You know, there's no hero's journey anymore that you had back in uh, you know the 60s, 70s, and 80s. That trope is over. Uh, at least with Captain Janeway, uh, she had her own struggles, her own faults. But Michael Burnham, who was the captain in Discovery, she's just perfect. She knows everything. She can fight. She mm -hmm. she knows everything. Same thing with, um, uh, I'll have to say, Andor is the only Star, star Wars that is actually good. But uh, unfortunately, even the newer Star Wars that they had, you know, with uh, 
the one that failed, that bombed. They had uh, uh, the Jedi as uh, do funny. Yeah, they had the, the, the Jedi are do funnies now. And, and that the killed, acolyte, sorry. Yeah, the acolyte, the acolyte. acolyte. Yeah, so, so, so they are marketing to people who don't even support the platform, who, who support the franchise. You can't market that stuff to people like me who've been watching this for since I've been a child. I don't want to see this. If you're going to have a, a, a do funny character, let that be uh, let that be like a, an extension. Don't put it in my face over and over in every scene. Right. So, yeah. right. And and then just to, listen. To think that you needed to take Star Trek woke was the dumbest idea. Star Trek was woke from its inception. This is a franchise that bought America the first interracial televised kiss. OK, uh, huh. just to, a few years after the uh, Civil Rights Act was signed. Okay. Uh, this is a franchise that put a Russian in the midst of the Cold War and a Japanese guy after World War II on the bridge of this starship. Okay. You want to talk about diversity. All right. So Ben, they had done that. They already covered that ground. There was no need to try to take it in that direction at all. But everything's agenda driven. And then, you know, my wife and I were watching uh, Aliens, the sequel to Alien. And this is when they used to know how to write female heroes. Now, this character, Ripley, she was, uh, she, she got the job done, but at the same time, she displayed maternal instincts and compassion, okay? And a lot of fear, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. But that's when they knew how to write real characters, whether they be men or women. Uh, this new crowd doesn't know anything about that. Well, they got to be vulnerable, right? They, I mean, they, that's that's pretty much how they had to write the movies. Now you got to be vulnerable. You got no, uh, no, no. Women today are not vulnerable in movies. No, uh, no. The men, the men, the men. Oh like, yeah, generally the, the, the men. men if they're in the movie. They're, you know, inconsequential. Okay, yeah. they're just foils for the yeah, uh, it's, it's strong terrible. female who don't need no man. Yeah, so it's so always like we're going like all the superhero movies, all the movies out are just like lifetime shows now. Like you might as well just play every Marvel movie now, every uh, you know kids movie. Put it put it all on one Lifetime channel, and uh, it'll probably do well uh, there. All right, 